Ooh, okay, okay. I went down. I went down right there. You need to think about protection. What so I just got to drop in my grandkids off. Today is Sunday. I'm over by Carowinds, as you can see right here, but we are headed to Cabela's to do a little looky-loo, see what they got going on. Hey cousins, what's up? How are y'all doing? It is a gloomy day, so I'm trying to put some light onto this video. But we are in, I guess you could say South Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina border because half of Carowinds sits on South Carolina, the other half sits on North Carolina. So it's been raining a little bit on the journey here to drop the grandkids off, but we are now at Cabela's and I absolutely love this store. Isn't that great? Wow. Okay, so he showed me this, but this is very light and it's aluminum. It was already open, y'all, so it's not like I'm opening it. But this is what it looks like. And it's very thin, so. That's a no-go for me. For me, this over here that can be used like a black stone that and can actually go on the fire. Um, this thing is heavy. Now this one's a little bit smaller. It's cast iron. It's heavy, but not as heavy as that other one. And their propane in here is $5.99. so it's a lot of good stuff in here remember i said i have a bunch of these at the house already these are the ice cream sandwich don't buy them they nasty y'all but these are freeze-dried and a lot of the freeze-dried meals are good but this is disgusting so they have these meals here as well these are all venison and if you don't know what venison is, it is deer, okay? So, what do I need that I don't already have? And if you are in need of some fishing rods, now they're gonna be expensive in here, but they have a bunch of rods. I'm gonna go look at the chairs in a minute, but it's people over there right now, but it's a couple of chairs over there I wanna look at. Look at that. And we already have our steaks and stuff. And this one is a kickback rocker, but. Okay, so sitting in this chair. Oh, it does rock. I don't know how much this one is, though. I like this one. It feels comfortable. Okay, so this. GCI is $60 for this rocket chair. The same umbrella that I just saw on Amazon for $47 is actually $64 in here. They wanted to go fishing. They wanted their own fishing pole, but I couldn't afford to get them their fishing pole this weekend. Hopefully the next time they come back to visit me, my grandkids, I can get them a fishing rod. So if y'all are planning on doing any kind of camping and stuff, you need to think about protection. Whatever that is for you, for me, is what you're looking at, among some other things. Nobody but you, no matter what we 
go through keeping it between us two me and you can we survive the distance don't know what we're missing so i made it back out here to the lake people are out here swimming I'm gonna go sit and eat my lunch first before I go over here and put my feet in the sand. So, yeah. I don't know if there's a table available out here because it's super packed because they're closed tomorrow. <clears throat> well, they might actually be open. They usually close on Wednesdays, but being that's the day before 4th of July, they might actually be open, but I don't know. So they actually have a um, had a spot under the umbrella, and this place is super duper packed. And as you can see behind me, they are super packed. I don't know the lighting may not allow you to see it. Let's see if you can see that <laughs> behind me. Yeah. Hmm. by myself for a long time, even though I'm married. My husband's been trucking for, I should have had my microphone on. I remember that next time. But my husband's been trucking since 2011, the end of 2011, when um, we closed our child care center. This came out of my long term pantry and it's not dated for this year, but this is fresh. The tuna, these crackers are not fresh, but I'm going to eat them. Or I might not eat them and just eat my chips. I would like to say I don't know I would like to say I don't know why I'm wanting to camp and just be out in nature more but I've been in the house as you can say I'm outside the young folks say but I'm figuring out where this next journey takes me takes us I hate drinking plain water dehydrated that my um, mother-in-law made. Child, I can't keep apple sauce. Like when I'm dehydrating my apple sauce, they be gone. Be gone. 
But they have a sign posted right over there. It's a sign posted over there saying um, what they tested it at, and they test it every day. I think multiple times a day they test it. Although there is one that I want to try that's especially for melanated people, made by some um, black lady, young young woman. But this smells good, tropical. Okay, so I'm about to walk down here. I'm gonna leave my bag here. Child, I'm about to fall in this water. I really hate now. This water is warm. It's so hot, but it's warm out here. My grandkids trying to go all the way out. I'm like, if y'all gonna come back here, go yeah, over here. See how where the water was. Let's see how far I can go. Cause like literally, this water was high. Now it's not. You have to go all the way out. So I see little kids that don't even have floaties on. And ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. I went down. I went down right there. I have my um, pants. My leggings are pulled up. Oh my god. This is so disgusting. Okay. I got some shells. Look at that. Oh, this is. I'm enjoying myself. It probably looks boring to you guys, but honestly, it's not. His tent, he's like, I have a tent already, but he has one of those tents you gotta literally pitch, and I'm terrified. I'm gonna have to practice in a yard or something. <clears throat> so maybe I'll have him show me this weekend. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow 